Hi, in this presentation I'll be showing you how to perform a mail merge. This is more than just a mail merge, I'll be emailing recipients as well. Each recipient will receive an individual customised message. Now, before you can begin the mail merge from Microsoft Word, you need to have set up some sort of one table database. Now this is what I've done in Microsoft Excel and I've created a file named My Data. Within this file I have a sheet named Main. So inside Main I have my one table database. The rows are records except for the very first row. There's one, two, three, four, five, six records. The first row contains the column headers or field names. There's one, two, three, four, five columns or five fields. So in this one table database, I have the identity of the recipients stored. Also, naturally enough, because I want to email them, I have their email addresses and I have the information I want them to receive. The nature of this information will vary depending on the recipient because, uh, as I said earlier, um, each recipient will receive a customised message. So you set this up first in some sort of one table database. Now I've done it in Excel, but this could have been done as a table in Access or as a table in Microsoft Word itself. But it is another file that is external to the Microsoft Word file from which I will be continuing this mail merge. So here I am in the Microsoft Word file and the next thing I need to do is click on mailings and tell the system where the data is going to come from so as I can perform this mail merge. The source of my data, I'll just click on select recipients, will be stored in an existing list, in an existing one table database, in a file named my data, in a sheet named main. So now the system understands where to get the data from. I'll just double click up here to get rid of that white space. I'll start typing away to create my message. I'll now start inserting fields from my database. I'll insert the first field there. It's, it's the, the field named first. I'll click on preview results so you can see the value in each of the fields, in each of the records. I'm at record number one now, but I can go to the next record and the next field value in the next record in the field name first is Barney. Pebbles is next. I can go to the very last record. Bam Bam's there. I can go back to the very first record. So it's extremely easy for me to navigate through the records and view all the, the field values. I'll just click on that so I can see clearly where my fields have been inserted. I'll insert another field. And one more field to be inserted there. So let's preview that. So Fred has sold $14,000 amount of product. His performance has been good. Barney's has been satisfactory. No comment for Pebbles, but Wilma is excellent. I'll go back to the first one there. Now, I can click here on Rules and choose If Then Else and control what sort of comment 
it's inserted depending on the value of total. So if the value of total is greater than or equal to 5,000, if that's true, then this comment will be inserted into the message. Now, if that's not true, this comment will be inserted. So, I mean, I'm not impressed with Fred. I'm not really impressed with Barney or Pebbles, but I am very impressed with Wilma. Now, I can see there's no comment there. That's the field value from the field named comment. I don't want any records that have got the field value no comment in the field comment to be part of this mail merge. So what I'm really saying is I want this record here and this record here to be excluded from the mail merge. Pebbles and Bam Bam are not to receive an email from me because under comment, the value is no comment. I can exclude them if I want to. All I have to do is just click here on skip record if, and if the value of comment is equal to precisely no comment, then those two records will be skipped and won't be part of the merge. They won't be receiving any emails. So at this point, I'm pretty much done. I'm now ready to actually send that email. But before I do, I'll do a, a more conventional type of um, merge. I'll edit the individual documents. I'll just click here. I'll choose all, but it won't really be all. I'll click OK. And there's Fred there. Uh, an additional Microsoft Word document has been created here and it's got four pages, not six. There's a, an individual message there for Fred, there's one for Barney, there's one for Wilma and for Betty, but Pebbles and, and uh, Bam Bam, as I would expect, have been excluded. Now I could print this out and mail the recipients their customized letters, especially if uh, my database included their, their postal address, but I don't want to do that. I just simply want to email them. So I'll click here and I'll click on send email. Now, it's the email field from my OneTable database that contains their email address. The subject line HTML formats fine. All's good. I'll click OK. And four people have received my email. And that is how you perform a mail merge.